Hello, Penn Manor students. My name is Mr. Kirchner. I am a social studies teacher here, here at the high school and also serve as a department coordinator. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes today in an effort to help you as you're navigating through the course selection manual to take a look at what social studies courses you would be looking into and some questions that you might have in terms of order of, of social studies courses offered in our school. So I want to take a few minutes and I'm going to look over a couple documents here. First of all, if you are a student right now and you are watching this video and you're going to be going into ninth grade, then next year is a very straightforward year for you. You will be taking U.S. History 2. So you're going to be continuing the history that you have right now in, in eighth grade where you're taking U.S. History 1 and you'll continue into U.S. History 2 at, at the various three levels, either career prep classes, college prep classes, or honors level courses. So a lot of that is determined on teacher recommendation as well as how your grades end up at the end of the year. Grade 10, you will also be pretty straightforward in the course you're going to take. You'll be, you'll be taking some version of civics and government. Again, whether it's career prep, college prep, or honors level, you'll take that. But also there are some other courses that are now available to you, perhaps that had not been earlier. And those would be some AP courses, whether it's AP government, AP comparative government, you could also take AP seminar, as well as AP US history. So any AP courses, and I'll get to AP courses in a minute, are, are, are basically done by prerequisite of grades, in that if you are in a college prep class preceding that grade, you need to have had an A in that, in that college prep course. Or if you're in an honors class, the year before you take your, you know, your last social studies class prior to taking an, an AP course, you need to have had an, uh, a B in a class if you were an honors student. So those are also done by teacher recommendation as well. So you want to speak with your teacher about whether or not you would qualify, have the grades for any of our AP courses. As you move to grade 11 and 12, that's when, when you have more options as a student in our school in social studies. So grade 11 and grade 12, you're going to basically be picking courses, choosing two out of the three that are offered in terms of standard core courses that are offered. So you're either going to take Eastern world history, Western world history, or economics. So as a junior and a senior, you're gonna pick two of those, have one of those happen each year. It's a reminder too, that you need to make sure in your four years of taking social studies classes at Penn Manor, you must have a non-US history class. So that would either be Eastern world history, Western world history, or as I'll talk in a minute, some of the world history AP classes. So that might be AP art history, AP world history would be two that would be examples of that. Okay. When it comes to the Eastern world, Western world or economics courses, you do have the same, the same pattern, career prep classes, college prep, honors level courses based off of your strengths and weaknesses and kind of where you would fit best. If you notice as an 11th and 12th grader, there are, are also uh, a whole host of AP courses that are now available to students, going from AP US History, AP Government, AP Art History, AP World History, AP Economics, AP Comparative Government, AP Psychology. I'll come back to AP Psychology in a moment, AP Seminar, and um, AP Research. A couple additional opportunities for you as a student. When you become a junior or senior, you also have some of the non-AP electives as well. Now, those two courses would be social psychology or criminal justice. Those are two courses that are available to juniors and seniors. They do not give you any social studies credit, so you would still have to take a world history or economics or possibly an AP course. But these are two elective courses that we have available in our department that students have, in, in years past, has been two very popular courses in our, in our curriculum. So when you do take a look at the course selection manual, you do want to look at some of the open campus classes that we also have available. And of course, in the course selection manual, you'll see a lot of the descriptions of courses that you can review. So of course, if you have any questions, you can certainly email any social studies teacher in our department, or you can email me directly. Again, my name is Mr. Kirchner, uh, and I am the social studies department coordinator, uh, as well as a social studies teacher here at the school. So, uh, so by all means, please reach out if you have questions. Thank you for watching this, and, and I look forward in, to helping you, you or maybe even seeing you in class. My next document I would like to look at is if you are kind of interested solely right now in looking at what the AP courses are, you will find this handout as well pretty beneficial. So these are the courses, the teacher who teaches those courses, whether or not you get social studies credit for taking that class, 
and then also whether that course would count as a non-U.S. history class. And also we'll talk about the length of the of the course, uh, which semester, uh, whether it's a full year course, whether it's a semesterized class, which semester, fall or spring does that course fall in, okay? So if you take a look, for example, that AP U.S. government, it's a year long uh, course, uh, it does offer social studies credit. The one change for us this year, uh, which I would want to highlight as I kind of wrap this up for today, is AP Psychology. This, it, this will be the first year that AP Psychology is offered as a social studies credit. So if you take AP Psychology, then you do not necessarily, um, you know, that does count as a social studies course that you can use to fulfill your requirement for graduation. Uh, it will not count as a course that is a non-US history class, so you would still need to take a non-US history course, but AP Psychology is a course that can be taken for social studies credit.